Not many people know of the wonders of the sea. A thousand leagues under? Maybe a hundred leagues under? Or even two thousand leagues under? Ten thousand leagues under? Or, you know, twenty thousand leagues under? Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aram the Bookquester. Today I have this awesome, epic science fiction book, and it is a timeless novel. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne himself, and well, let's get right on to it. This book is about a professor named Professor Aronox and his two companions, Consil and Ned Land. They are hunting a mysterious narwhal, which seems to have killed and shipwrecked so many ships and is considered really, really dangerous. What they find out is that the narwhal isn't the narwhal, it's a submarine run by Captain Nemo, the mysterious captain of the mysterious submarine that could wreck ships with its fearsome probe. And Professor Aronnax, Ned Land, and Consul are basically held against their will in the submarine. And as they stay in the submarine, they start to see the wonders of what was underneath 20,000 leagues under the sea. And basically, Professor Aronnax and, um, you know, and Ned Land and Consul, they basically see things that they have never seen before. And Professor Aronnax, who is like a professor about like this kind of like marine stuff, is super hyped about it. And he looked around and he sees these massive coral forests and the sunken city of Atlantis going under the ice of the North Pole and so on. And they experience wonders and terrors, and say they are once they were even caught under an ice, and once they fought fight, well, basically what is described as savages, but what we would call right now natives of an island. And it's a very very good fantasy book. Now I will say that it does have its similarities with Jules Verne's other book. Which is, I believe, right here. Journey to the Center of the Earth. It is definitely has some of its similarities. It is both a scientific adventure, and they find wonders and, and mischief and dangers that they have only heard about in theories. And... And definitely similar, and the reason that I only read half of the book like in a month is because I read this and then I read this and it felt so similar and that it was kind of boring but today I finished up the last half of the book and I'm doing the review so Professor Aronnax is in a way cares more about his research and the wonders of the sea in a way because even though he is held hostage he is usually on Captain Nemo's side about whether they get to leave the ship or not. And meanwhile, the Canadian, who is Ned Land, wants to leave at once. Since he's a very energetic and very hyped person, and he's used to going around in tar bands, running around, having an active life basically, not being stuck in a submarine. And... Yeah, and Ned Land keeps trying to escape, while our dear Aronnax tries to stay at first, then leaves, and Consul is basically like a faithful servant of Aronox, and he's super faithful and he's a super good companion to Professor Aronox. And I think that the science fiction in the book is actually so timeless that we don't know what is under 20,000 leagues in, under the sea right now. We don't exactly know. We don't know if the giant squids actually exist. We don't know about a lot of things. And in the book, it is so realistic. It is timeless. This book was made in the 19th century, but we're reading it right now in the 21st century, and it's totally fine. It, it feels completely fresh and completely new and completely timeless. And so I do recommend you this book and the one before it. 
And of course, everyone enjoys a good adventure time to time, but I recommend you to have at least a month apart of reading these two books because you start to notice similarities and then suddenly it'll become really, really boring. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the Book Quester, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Atlantis, Giant Squids, Dangers Unheard Of. What better adventure could there be? Well, of course, yeah, fantasy adventures are better, but we don't need to talk about that, do we?